This is Levi Edwards with MasterElectrician.tv and this video is going to explain the difference between tamper-proof and non-tamper-proof outlets, sometimes known as tamper-resistant. Basically, I mean, if you know anything about children, you know they like to run around and stick screwdrivers in outlets. No one knows why, but it's plagued the U.S. for years. And luckily, whoever makes outlets has come up with this genius, this genius idea that makes it so that when you plug something into an outlet, okay, this one's tamper-proof, this one is not. You can tell the difference, this one says a little TP on it. And if you go into an electrical store, they're gonna say, do you want tamper-resistant or non-tamper-resistant? And you're gonna, you're gonna have to know what to say because you're not gonna know the difference. This is the difference. When I go to plug something in, if it doesn't have both of these going into the outlet at the same time, if you look real close, you can see there's these little plastic things in here. And it's, it's made so that when you stick this in, it will only open if both go in at the same time. So if you take a screwdriver, you try to stick a screwdriver in there, it's not, no, no give. It's not going in there. No kid's getting shocked with that. Boom, non-tamper resistant. It'll just go right in there. Nothing protecting it from the leads. This has a little plastic piece protecting it from the leads. Now, you check your state's laws on this. Maybe you have to have them, maybe you don't. In Idaho, they were, they're requiring any residential outlets to be tamper-proof now. Anything in a new garage, anything like that. If it's commercial, not necessary. So just know what you're working on and know whether or not you're supposed to have tamper-proof outlet or not.